<clears throat> Kim on 10B, sample final number 10. We're drawing Lewis structure and predicting the shape for this polyatomic ion. All right, so we know what I have to do first. Lewis dot structure. Carbon, there's one of them. It's in group 4A, so that's four electrons. Sulfur, there's three of them. It's in group 6A, so that's six electrons, total of 18. And you have to remember that the charge is a minus two, which means we're adding two electrons because we've got two more negatives. So that's 24 electrons divided by two is a dozen pairs, 12 pairs of electrons that have to go around this set of four atoms. Single bonds between the center and the outer atoms make the outer atoms happy by giving them a total of eight. We've used up 12 already, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, well what do we do now? Well, we've used up our 12, right? If we've used up 12, we can't add any more. So, where are we at here? Well, the sulfur is certainly happy. There. There. And there, right? Total of eight electrons around each of those. But the carbons, or the carbon, the center carbon, only has two, four, six. So it's not happy, so somebody has to share. doesn't matter who. Let's say this one. So what have you made here? You've made a double bond between the sulfur and the carbon. It's not a complete Lewis dot structure here unless you show the charge. All right, so that's it. That's the Lewis dot structure. Now let's look at the shape. For shape, one, how many places do we find electrons around center atom? How many? How many places around the center atom do we find? Now remember, a single bond and a single bond are each one place, but a double bond is one place too. This is just a stronger magnet. So the answer is three places. Three places will spread out in a trigonal planar arrangement or geometry. Right? Three things split up like this. 120 degrees around. All right, so we've got the carbon in the middle and a sulfur and a sulfur and a sulfur. It doesn't matter that there's a double bond, it's still that. Okay, so we found the arrangement. Now, any lone pairs? On the center atom? No, no lone pairs, just a double bond and two single bonds, which means that's the shape as well. Okay, trigonal planar shape. That's it. You need more practice. That's chapter 17, exercises 17B, C, and D. Good luck. Hack at it. Practice.